Hi guys, welcome back to Araceli Chan DIY, where you do it your damn self because why pay more when you can make it for less. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. I would love to invite you to become part of this DIY family by hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. I do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Smile Brilliant, which is an at-home teeth whitening system that I actually have been using. Um, I wanted to use it before I actually promoted it to let you guys know what it's been doing and I will actually show you a before and after picture here. I've done it about four or five times for 45, minute, 45 minutes to an hour each time. You can do it for about an hour to three hours at a time, but I'm, my teeth are kind of sensitive, so I do want to kind of start on the lower end. Because I am in front of the camera a little bit more, I am getting a little self-conscious about my pearly whites because I drink a lot of caffeine, coffee, Pepsi, and I know that it's been having an effect on my smile. <laughs> that they are going to be doing a giveaway for a kit for a lucky winner so I'm going to link them down below make sure you follow the link to Smile Brilliant and then sign up for the giveaway okay if you guys know these DIYs can get a little expensive so don't be mad at me if I do sponsored videos every once in a while okay all right so for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys two different DIYs and these are going to be some springtime um, coffee bar decorations and because we're coming up on spring I'm actually really excited also to let you know that if you're not a member of Grove um, I'm also gonna link them down below because their spring scents are out if you're a new customer you do get this stuff for free um, when you sign up and you only have to spend $20 to get all this stuff for free and then you can cancel it at, at any time if you're not happy with it uh, so with that all said and put aside I'm gonna go ahead and start with that first day away what you're gonna need and I'm gonna let you know that I already prepped some stuff because you know that's how I roll you're gonna need two of these square frames from Dollar Tree these usually have like this type of um, picture in it or it has like sayings or quotes so two of these 11 by 14 frames this is what you're gonna be looking for they're pretty good size so all I did was spray paint these with some Krylon in aqua matte and then I also have two of these glass candle holders that are already glued together this is literally recycling at its best because I took it apart from my old two-tier tray for my coffee bar and reused it and just painted it also. And I'm also going to be using two of these baskets um, in the white. They do have the black, but I'm going to be using white because, you know, it's spring, so I want it to look nice and bright and inviting. And then I also have some vinyl liner here. And the twine I will link down below. Uh, I got it from burlapfabric.com. Okay, for the second DIY, it's gonna be super simple. I'm gonna be using two packs of these little pots. And each pack comes with three, but you're only gonna need four of them. Or, um, so just one of these and also some tower or my little tumbling tower game. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out by painting my little pots and also the frame. And I put two coats of the paint so you can't see the the image on it and then taking my hot glue I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it on the pot and then put it right on the corner and press it down start taking my little tower pieces and well, first I'm going to figure out the layout that I want and then I'll start gluing them. take some black acrylic paint I'm just gonna water that down really well and I'm gonna take any clumps make sure it's all like diluted 
and it's basically going to make a stain. I went ahead and took my wire cutters and cut some strips and so I counted the little diamonds so there's one two three one two three four five so I went ahead and cut the rim from the basket and then I cut going up and after that I counted about five diamonds and then cut the strips just like that so when you cut it see how it's kind of like at an angle you're gonna have to stretch it out so it straightens out just like that. This middle section is going to be a little bit wider even though it's the same amount of diamonds it's going to be a little bit wider because I think that's where like it kind of stretched. You're going to need two strips for each tier. So taking my glass and flipping it over I'm going to go ahead and and put it right in there just like that. And I'm going to put the cover back in there and I'm going to put the tabs down. You don't have to glue it or anything. You can do it just like that. Okay, so what I'm doing with the bottom tray, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the top tray. So my square frame is already lined and the glass is in, everything's set, the tabs are down. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside. I went ahead and folded down the very bottom part of it. So if you guys can see, that part is bent down. And so now I'm just gonna go around the mirror or around the frame. Corners right here, I am gonna bend it so that it kinda sticks uh, better. All right, so to attach the ends together, I just went ahead and like wrapped the pieces that are cut around the other piece. So I tried every which way to get this freaking frame on here and it's just kind of impossible to glue it on there. So what I'm going to do is because it's always already coming in a little bit like the, the wire is bending in, um, I'm going to put the frame around and then I'm going to bend the wire over the frame. Take a little bit more of that nautical rope and I'm going to start gluing it around. different types of trays which you very well could leave like this. I actually really like how they look all by themselves. Sorry if it's dark in here, Milani keeps turning off the lights. Um, so again you can keep the trays like that, that's another idea, I didn't even think about it. I was only thinking like the end result. So um, you can make two separate trays but I'm gonna go ahead and take my recycled uh, thingamajig here and see this part in the middle it has it's really ugly so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of my um, twine that I've been using here 
and then wrap it around right there and glue it. OMG, get it together, Araceli Chan DIY, where you do it your damn self, because why pay more when you can make it for less? Ha huh, mama? <laughs> you funny? All right. Okay, so that's it right there.